arts and culture, economic development, tourism, they all go hand in hand. And I'm standing in front of the Amherst Cinema as an example of uh, one of the successes of a recently launched program that I worked on uh, starting actually about 15 years ago and finally got into law through an economic development bill about six years ago. Uh, the bill is uh, a cultural facilities program and it provides matching funds up to $25 million a year of state money to be matched by no less than $25 million a year of private money to uh, build and renew and, and restore uh, cultural facilities all across the Commonwealth, uh, historic sites like Old Deerfield and Sturbridge. And uh, in the case of this project, it was in the first round of grants offered by the Commonwealth in this program, and they received the largest grant ever in the history of the program to date, $625,000. And that was matched uh, several times over. In fact, it was about a $4 million project, as I recall. So you see, even though we required only a dollar for dollar match, in many cases, and in fact I'd say most cases, the actual costs of the projects being funded with some state money are significantly uh, larger than uh, would be uh, required for a dollar for dollar match. In fact, of the roughly $42 million already expended in the program statewide, over $500 million worth of private funds have been contributed. And each of these projects has provided some renewal of a facility that is critical to uh, providing for the cultural life, not only of the residents of the Commonwealth, but also for our visitors. And as I've said before, tourism is a, one of our largest industries. And when people come to the state, they're looking for things to do. And we're very good uh, in the cultural field because we have some very famous venues from Tanglewood and, and uh, the Symphony Hall in Boston to uh, famous theaters uh, from Williamsburg and, excuse me, Williamstown uh, all the way uh, into Springfield and then over into Boston. And uh, so we also have uh, historic sites from Old Deerfield and Sturbridge Village, Plymouth Plantation. These facilities, these sites need renewal from time to time in order for us to offer quality programs and experiences so that the tourists will visit us, will stay a little longer, and will choose to come back to visit us again because there were still some other sites they didn't get to see in their first or second or third visit and it'll bring them back time and time again. Improving the quality of life, incre increasing the number of jobs because these projects create jobs while they're being constructed but they also employ people in these theaters and in these museums and in these historical sites and there's also spin-off benefits to the community uh, in terms of uh, the purchase of goods and services as these organizations operate. So there are success stories all across the Commonwealth, like this one here, and the Yiddish Book Center, and the Academy of Music, all of which have benefited from this program that brings arts, culture, history, the humanities, together with economic development, downtown revitalization, and tourism.